some of the UK's favorite comedians are coming on stage with no preparation whatsoever. We'll tell them what they're going to be talking about in stand-up created in the moment and under pressure. If you make the crowd go wild on your own material, that feels good. If you make the crowd go wild on set this material, because you made it up on the spot. That's my set list there. As you can see, that's, that's set list, Le set list, uh, set list, hashtag set list. I didn't like that one. I really didn't like that set list I crossed out. And then obviously you end on the, you end on the set list. <laughs> Will you welcome the never before seen set list of Mr. Eric Lampere. Oh, it is such an honour to be here um, for you um, because I'm I'm about to perform. It's, it's not the ever like it's, I'm going to be letting you in a secret. I have done this set list before um, back in Los Angeles. I, I did it and uh, it was amazing. I got a DVD deal out of it and a standing ovation and everything like that. So I'm just, I'm actually going to do it for you. It was, oh, I'm so good. So it was at LA. Ten thousand people were there and it was just great. And I opened with I'd say one of my favourite bits of material. Um, basically. <laughs> Um, it's. Let me. Oh, I'm just. I'm just remembering the gig. It was. Oh, what a gig! It was a good gig. Um, this. I was invited to this party once, and there was my friend Barry. Uh, Susanna was there. Uh, Julie. Uh, Big Tom. Um, I, did, I didn't realise, but they all wanted to commit suicide, right? And I was like, I, I didn't know this. They went, ah, oh, it's going to be crazy, we're going to blow the roof off, it's going to be... And do you know when you commit suicide, it's fucking scary, isn't it? Right? They, did, they thought, ah, oh, let's do it in a group, let's make a nice meal, let's, I don't know, a stew, for example, let's make a nice stew. It's on YouTube, I don't know, check uh, Suicide um, 2012. Um, and I arrived, I was like, ah, oh, there's no stew left. Guys, wake up! But they didn't wake up. Um, because they died. Now, I guess, no, I guess th this material doesn't really work in Scotland. Um, no, it's fair enough, because that bit of material fucking kicked the sh Obama was in the audience. He was like, oh shit, son! Uh, uh, uh. Like, we did the, f the thumb thing. So, um, but if you don't like that bit of material, it's not a problem, because my next bit, shit, man. Um, uh, fucking Frankie the Tory was in the audience. <laughs> oh, he loved it, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, such a good bit. I went to school and my teacher went, let's all do a singing ballad brown. <laughs> so what? She a singing ballad brown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you saying? I was very confident as a child. I was only 11. I was like, what the fuck are you saying, teacher? And she was like, a singing death parallelogram. Some of you don't know what it means. It's just fucking embarrassing. I can tell some of you, like this woman there, look how, don't, look, you're crossing your arms. I just say, come on, be funny. Please listen. Please enjoy the story. It's okay if you don't know what that means because a lot of people don't know what it means. I know what it means, but some people, so I went to the head teacher and I went, Mrs. Johns has no idea what that word means. <laughs> and you went, what word? And I went, oh, luckily I wrote it on a big TV. I had to roll it. I went, <laughs> I went, how did you plug it in? I, went, I don't know, we're in the garden. I went, yeah, it's long cable. And I went, Mrs. Johns doesn't know what that word means. And when you know, right? And I was like, well, not, not really, I don't. I don't really know what it means. Like, could you explain it to me? Right? And he... He was about to tell me. Right? It was a... Basically, it means... And then he died! Ah, oh, what?! So I'll never know what it means? Okay? But I'll tell you what. Frankie Dottori was like, Ah, oh, shit, son! Uh, uh. He was trying to copy Obama because Obama's cool, but I went, Frankie, stop doing that. You're like tiny. Back off. Back off, Frankie.
There's something that there's something that means there's something that means a lot to me, and it's really hard to, to talk about it, but. It's hard to talk about it because that's no, because a lot of people a lot of people don't like Michael Barrymore. Please, madam, get out. Please leave. The reason she she she's leaving is because she knows that this ending is so good um, that it actually kills people because they they laugh so hard. They're like, oh shit, son. <laughs> So, Michael Barrymore's got a bad rep because of how he keeps his swimming pools, right? But I, I went to his house. Me, Frankie, Obama, and Michael. I went to his party and we took loads of drugs. We had loads and loads of gay sex. Just too much. Like, I was like oh God, I'm not even gay, but wah! It was just a crazy party. Because we were covered in the stuff, um, we went for a swim. Now, most guys here know that when, when you wank and then you go for a shower, the semen becomes a different consistency, doesn't it? <laughs> Obama was covered in stuff, like... <laughs> so much he was white, like... And he swam. And he went on his own, he went on his own. Now, when the last person I did some swimming time in Michael Barrymore's swimming pool, um, they died. Now, it was, it was actually, like the doctors were talking to us, it was actually going to happen to Obama. But because, luckily, because he was covered in semen, and it does, it does a different consistency, it kind of created like a water bed. <laughs> so when he threw it for a swim, and then he fell asleep because of all the drugs and the animal sex, it's just the semen went <laughs> And um, it was just a hell of a pie. And then we all passed out, and, um, and that's my ending. But on, that's not just the ending of, of my set list, that's the ending of that bit of the story. Now, the ending of that gig at the LA, um, at the LA, <laughs> the Los Angeles, there's only one, the Los Angeles, the LA. At that, the end of that gig, everyone was like, oh, that is such a good story. We're definitely gonna give you a standing ovation. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit, son. Oh shit. Right, and, they, and essentially I just did that until they did it. Now, that's the difference. In, in America, that, that story killed. In Scotland, you're like ambivalent towards all the hard work that I've put in that, which is fine. are scared to do set list when really it's the one place where you shouldn't be scared because the audience knows how hard it is you know so it doesn't do it do it